Hello everyone, this is Master Witzman, and welcome again to another episode of Mathematics Online. Feel free to pause the video whenever needed and try to solve the problems by yourself. In this episode, we are going to learn about finding the roots of quadratic equations by trial and error method. Now for our objectives. Number one. Students will be able to find the roots of quadratic equations by trial and error method. 2. Students will be able to explain how to find the roots of quadratic equations by trial and error method. A root of a quadratic equation is the value of the variable that satisfies the equation. To determine if a value is the root of a quadratic equation, we need to substitute the variable in the equation with a given value. If both sides have the same value, then the given value is the root. However, if both sides do not have the same value, then it is not the root. For a better understanding, here is an example. Determine if the following values are the roots of x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, we have As we can see, 6 is not equal to 0. That would mean that x is equal to 1 does not satisfy the equation. So, x is equal to 1 is not a root. Now, when x is equal to negative 2, we can see that the left and the right of the equation is equal. That would mean that x is equal to negative 2 satisfies the equation. Therefore, negative 2 is a root. Now, what about trial and error method? Trial and error method is the process of verifying that a certain choice is right or wrong. We simply substitute that choice into the problem and check if the given value satisfies the equation or not. We can find the roots of a quadratic equation by guessing a value and substituting the variable in the equations with the value. Let's consider this. Let's try and find the roots of the quadratic equations given below by trial and error method. Here is letter A. The first thing to do is set the given quadratic equation in general form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0. Since in this problem, the given is already in general form, we proceed to the next step. That is to determine the possible rational zeros. The rational zero theorem states that if the polynomial has integer coefficients, then every rational zero has the form p over q, where p is a factor of the constant term and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. When the leading coefficient is 1, the possible rational zeros are the factors of the constant term. See this. Since the leading coefficient is 1, the possible rational zeros are the factors of the constant term. The factors of 3, 
are positive negative 1 and positive negative 3. Now for step 3, substitute the possible rational zeros to the given equation. When x is equal to positive 1, Since the left and the right values of the equation are not equal, x is equal to 1 does not satisfy the equation. It is not a root. Now, when x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to negative 1 satisfies the equation. Therefore, it is a root. Next, when x is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 does not satisfy the equation. It is not a root. But when x is equal to negative 3, the right and the left of the equation becomes equal meaning x is equal to negative 3 satisfies the equation. It is a root. In conclusion, the roots of x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 are negative 1 and negative 3. Let's proceed to letter B. Since in this problem, the given is already in general form, we proceed to the next step, which is to determine the possible rational zeros. We know that the factors of C are over the factors of A. We have 1 over 1, that is positive negative 1. 5 over 1 is positive negative 5. 1 over 2 is positive negative 1 half. And 5 over 2 is positive negative 5 over 2. All these are the possible rational zeros of the given equation. Let us move to the last step. Substitute the possible rational zeros to the given equation. When x is equal to 1, when x is equal to negative 1, when x is equal to 5, when x is equal to negative 5, When x is equal to 1 half. When x is equal to negative 1 half. When x is equal to 5 over 2. And when x is equal to negative 5 over 2. We therefore conclude that the roots of 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equal to 0 are negative 1 half and 5. And that is all for the topic today. Thank you for watching, see you next time.